Freedom is like, a, in, in a sense, it's like an enlightened <laughs> model, like an example. That, uh, so if you look at yourself, you know, or you, if you look at around, your, in, around your life, you see somebody, you can say, it's not a pro probably nice thing to judge people like that, but we cannot help notice that, right? Some people, you can see, they live in the hell realm. Some people live in the hungry ghost realm. Some people live in kind of animal realm. Some people live in that human jealousy realm. Some people live in the demigod pride, very realm of pride and ego. And some somebody living in the sense of more like a having kind of worldly, um, worldly all the need, need worldly need things. So they need they have all of them. Then they are kind of lazy, kind of lost in those just going to the art show and fundraising and you know things like that that that's what their life is about and so so there are many people different kind of um, different ways in which people live their life right so kind of uh, uh, but it's it's they're they're in some sense of dominated by that character they are not they don't have bigger sense of themselves or more sense of themselves they have kind of limited sense of self and they live in that realm for whole life, basically. So, but the expression, who you are, how you can experience yourself, what you can express, or what you can do in the world, can be much more than you are uh, doing now. So if, if you expand that sense of whole realm, whole quality. So, so, so basically, the, there is this personality that, very dominated personality that people live. And so, so some sense of the idea of even shifting, like, who am, who am I? And I, I'm shifting that, my being or my personality into something else. Uh, that's, that's the idea, I think, is important to reflect and think about. You know, you, uh, we don't think that way, right? We don't think, think, usually we don't think that way, right? think about what we think. I don't know what we think. Maybe we think like, uh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm not doing my best. I've been doing my best for the last 15 years. It's just not working. Uh, I'll, keep, I'll keep on trying. So if, if, if not working for the last 15 years, maybe it's not a bad idea to, to change a little bit, <laughs> right? to change a little bit how you're doing, what you're doing, if there's any other possibility and another ways to do it than the, your way of doing it. Because if it's not working, it, then I don't know if it will work again. Uh, so, 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 so this sense of transformation, that's one thing. Okay? Hmm. So energetically shifting, pers pers your, basically you're shifting your body, you're shifting your energy, you're shifting your mind. You're basically... You're trying to change your body, you're trying to change your field of energy, you're trying to change your mind, or you're trying to change your body, you're trying to change your speech, you're trying to change your mind. You're trying to change all together from you to Shinagaka. Samsaric being to enlightened being. Um, perfected and identified and dominated by a specific realm to not dominated by any realm, but open to all realms, embodying all the qualities. That's what you're trying to do. So, so of course, when we, in, during this meditation, when we change ourselves from, from you, which is uh, if, when you recognize you're dominated by a specific realm to another being, you, you might say, okay, well, I'm just kind of making it up and I'm just trying to visualizing it. I'm, I don't know if anything really is happening, anything, right? But of course, something is happening. Something is always happening, right? For example, if you're sitting and you have a moment like it's just Sunday morning, you're sitting in a, somewhere and very nice and peaceful, suddenly one thought comes, right? A fear. That I'm afraid. I'm afraid of something. I'm afraid of my health. Or I'm afraid of my age. I'm afraid of my death. I'm afraid of taxes. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I'm afraid of my relationship. 
So suddenly one thought triggers and then and then you said then you go immediately with one that's root emotion and it kind of elaborates itself like oh this can happen, that can happen, this happen, that it just goes on and on. You're doing your meditation. You you have your un I say unwanted forced meditation. You go into one couple of hours, and end of the couple of hours, how you feel? You're really exhausted, you feel bad, you you're down. Right? You do change. You in after the after a few hours of those thoughts, you can clearly see you have a different body. You can clearly see if you talk to anybody that moment, it's not a good time to talk with anybody, right? So if you talk to anybody, you can hear in your voice a sense of disconnectedness, a sense of uh, lost, a sense of uh, unkindness. And so you can f see your s voice is different, your speech is different, words are different, connections are different. You see that. So the same way when you do a practice, practice does have an effect. Same way, in a positive way. But you, it might not be as, as obvious, uh, as... Uh, clear, because this practice you haven't done that many times. The other one you have done too many times. You are more expert in doing going down, but your heart you have not so familiar with going upward. So, so you, it's just kind of familiarities of your practices makes big difference, right? That makes sense. So basically, what I'm saying is, even though it does not feel immediately, some shift changes but not think that there's no changes in the shift. There's always something is changing. Always something is moving. Something is getting better, always. So then, so basically, so you're changing personality into Shala Yoga. Then in some sense, whatever the level of shift that you feel already in, that sense of self is working, working with yourself. That makes sense? For example, if you have a moment when you're afraid, then suddenly this moment of all these negative thoughts are happening, suddenly saying, you have some little bit of awareness, oh, I'm getting trapped in this negative thoughts. You're aware. I have a choice. I don't have to do that. Suddenly you feel, you recognize, you feel choice, you feel options, you choose, you feel a little shift, you begin, you begin to change. So, so s the change that you feel is it's kind of opening a certain personality of which has more space, which has more awareness, which has more warmth. And that awareness or that pers person or personality is working with the rest of your personality in some sense. In the practice, that's what's happening. It's like, you, you, you notice that? In your head, there's a two, 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 two voices. One saying, forget about it. You're always, you're always wrong, and you're doing wrong things. One other one, another says, no, I can change. I can be open. So you see, so if, if you, first, in a way, it's good to not to talk too much, negotiate too much, but if you really have to, which one you prefer to talk with? Right? The one with the positive one. one. One with more hope. You don't want to talk with this negative thought. 